day, so it's going to be a quite quiet day today. Um, I have booked some wine tasting this afternoon, so that should be fun. But apart from that, I haven't got anything really scheduled in. It's almost lunchtime already. Just had a lazy morning. Got up late, watched a film, been doing some uh, video stuff, downloading all my files and everything. So I haven't even literally left the room yet. So I'm going to venture out in a minute. So let's quickly though just look at what the post was today for me. What have we got? All stuff about Tesla Night. Tesla Night. Um, dear guess, fine art. Um, future planning. You can see there what you get. You depending on what you book is how much de extra deposit you get. I'll have a read of that for at some point. Some less good stuff on there. I need to change a cruise. And then here's today's clutter. You can slow it down if you want. Oh, it's first formal night tonight, so they're doing a champagne um, for um, waterfall. Lots of art. Some more spa stuff. What's this? Another art auction. God, we have a lot of paper at sea. So, as I said, it's almost lunchtime, it's almost noon now, but for those who want to see what sort of thing's on it. Day. I'll take this with me and show you some stuff as we go along. It is, they always do do a lot more on a sea day than a... And then again, bars and lounges. There. Yeah. Let's get a bit of lunch. I don't want anything sweet. Tuna sandwich, please. Thank you. Oh, this then. Tuna sandwich. Looks nice. It's nice to have something slightly. I think one day when future cruises at some point as well.
you can see what the weather's like up there, see if it's windy or anything. I'll start your bingo here. I'm going to avoid that. Start getting addicted to bingo, that can get an expensive habit on the boat. Just give you a piss away on her. I don't know, I was pushing.
hope you guys were in my skill pack class today. Hope you had fun. I call one of you up just now to play a song. <laughs> this next song here is done uh, by Judy Garner in five uh, somewhere over the way or not. I'm gonna put a little twist on it if you don't mind. Alright, these modern days. I'll still keep it uh, nice and classical as well. Here. So then you can sit like that. I don't it makes any difference to me. Sure. Mm -hmm. I was thinking like you can make some, but then it's kind of one there, one here, right. so it's better. Thank you. Okay. Yeah. Can I say it? I don't, don't like to sit down and it's not there. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. and I'm the bartender at Wines here and today we're gonna do the Stamptish on Old World Red Wine and Cheese Pairing. Okay. Now Stamptish is basically a German term for a communal table in any of the bars where a group of people come have some drinks, eat some food and share, discuss things about whatever you could say. So today we are doing the Old World Red Wines which is, we call it Old World because the wines that are produced in Europe are all old world wines. Anything which is produced out of Europe, like Australia, Chile, USA, wherever, those are all new world. Okay, so we have three wines today to try. Chateau de Pape from Rhone Valley, Nebbiolo, which is from Italy, Midman region, and Chateau Mont Cabria, which is a Bordeaux. Okay, so, I'll just let you know which wines are which one. The top wine which you have on the stand is the Chateau Neuf du Pape. The second next to that one is the Nebbiolo. And the third one, the lowest one, is the Chateau Mancabria, which is a Bordeaux. Okay? Let's 
take the wine, the first one, the top one, which is Chateauneuf de Pas. Now, the alcohol volume of this wine is 13.5%. Okay, and it's called Chateauneuf de Pas. Chateauneuf, Chateau means a castle. It's the new castle of Pope, the name Chateauneuf de Pas, which means as new castle of Pope. You have the napkins with the cutlery. If you open and use that napkin to see the color of the wine. If you just use it across your napkin and see the color of the wine, you will see the nice uh, dark cherry color on the wine. If you finish roll, you can see the legs now, this Chateau of the Pop is, is from the Rhone Valley and the soil type is mostly like pebbles and clay. So this wine is mostly very earthy. Okay. There are five, I mean, when you, when you sip, I mean, when you want to taste the wine, the first is you look at the wine and then you sniff the wine. So to feel the aroma of the wine, you can do it three ways. First is keep the glass to the chest to see if you get any aromas. If the wine is if the wine is very fruity, you can feel it from this area. But if it's gonna be dry, so it's not. But then you can keep it to the chin. When you keep it to the chin, you feel a little bit. Do you? I mean, this is, it's not a serious, uh, this thing, everybody. You can just give your own opinion. It's a discussion. Because believe me, when you try it with the cheese, everyone's gonna have a different opinion. Some would like it, some wouldn't like it, some would like the wine would be more flavorful, some the wine would just go flat. So it's an open discussion. You don't be <laughs> like, okay, we're doing something. has like ripe berries, a little bit of spice to it.